Hi, I'm Jeff Oftenkamp from Mama Mimi's Take and Bake Pizza in Columbus, Ohio. I'm here to uh, show you how to package Take and Bake Pizza in your pizza shop. Uh, what we uh, start with is just a regular uh, 14-inch circle that you get from any of your suppliers. Then we have a uh, special parchment paper that's been treated with a silicone treatment to prevent that from disintegrating in a home oven at a the temperature of 450 degrees, which we like to cook the pizzas at, normal parchment paper is going to disintegrate. It's got to have that silicone treatment. So when you're looking at these papers, that's what you need to, need to focus on to make sure it has a silicone treatment. Then what we do in our operation is we uh, pre-sheet our dough on this paper. Then we make our pizzas. They come down the line until we have the finished product, such as this. This is our veggie pizza. Lots of nice roasted garlic on there, lots of fresh veggies. We have a shrink wrap machine here. It's the Deli Sandwich Shrink Wrapper. It's a Deli Wrap Model 631 from Wisco Industries. It should be available from any of your uh, local equipment suppliers in your area. Then um, we have, uh, we also use a special shrink wrap that uh, this machine helps seal the pizza with. This is a 24 inch by 24 inch perforated film. We keep it on the little holder here, pull this up, you can just pull it right off, it's perforated, it snaps right off, and take this over to the uh, shrink wrapper, sometimes it bunches up a little bit, just pull it right out, it's no problem. We're going to place this on top of the pizza, like so, and really the key to this technique is to uh, push the shrink wrap underneath as the paper goes down underneath the cardboard, that really makes it uh, the finished product come out a lot cleaner. Uh, it almost looks like a window here that's it's done in about 10-15 seconds. Then you have your finished pizza. What we do in our operation then is we have a, a sticker with some baking instructions on them. Uh, we buy these from uh, the internet. We've got someone on the internet, a label company. If you do some research, you can find people that will make labels far cheaper than your local printer. We like to do a little box top coupon on our pizzas. So we place that on there, put the sticker on. It makes for a great finished product. This is a very good uh, a seal. You can actually drop that pizza and it holds up pretty well. So it's pretty ready for travel. And then uh, there you have it. I think uh, the other key components, some of the key components to doing what we do is the baking instructions. And then basically what we like to tell our customers is that you need to preheat your oven to 450 degrees. Make sure that one of your racks is right in the center of the oven. That's going to allow the pizza to cook evenly from the top and bottom. When the oven's ready to go, you're going to open the door, remove the shrink wrap from the pizza, and then just slide it right off of this cardboard circle, right on that paper onto the center rack of the oven. It's going to take about 8 to 10 minutes to cook. We always tell people your first time, just keep your eye on it. Check about 5 minutes or so. You're going to notice that this paper is going to turn a little brown around the edges in the oven. That's usually a good indication that the pizza is close to being done. I always recommend to take a knife, maybe lift up the bottom, look underneath. You want it nice and brown, done to your liking. The easiest way to get it back out is grab a hot pad holder, pull that rack out, stick this right on the side of the oven, or the rack, I'm sorry, pull the paper onto the cardboard, take it with both hands to the counter, slice and serve.